I'm heading over to a baby shower. I think people who are expecting want to be around parents because it foreshadows their future. So, oh, looks like Lennon's back. Yeah. <laughs> Left, I wanted to do a little quick outfit of the day. This is quintessential Jen. I will always enjoy a tennis skirt, a cardigan, a band tee. These are just closet staples that make me feel at home. But yeah, these are the vibes for today. And let's head on over to the baby shower. for supper and it is my turn to make dinner. I want to take a quick minute to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. We are HelloFresh stands in this house. We've been using it for so many years. I truly learned how to cook through this service. It is by far the best meal kit delivery service I have ever used. So tonight, we are gonna be making the tilapia with scallion sriracha pesto. All the ingredients are pre-portioned and pre-measured in this bag, so that way I can cut down on food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping. HelloFresh has over 40 recipes and 100 seasonal and convenient items to choose from every single week. They have so much variety and flexibility for whatever lifestyle that you have. For example, Ben is a pescatarian, and so whenever we're choosing our meals each week, we make sure we choose a ones with veggies or with fish. They also have other options like gluten-free, carb smart, and more. I love that everything is seasonal and picked at peak ripeness, so that way you can really taste the quality. You're essentially getting farm to table to your home in less than seven days. If you're interested, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code GENIM50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. Again, that's hellofresh.com, code GENIM50. I will leave everything in the description box. Pop it open, click it. You won't regret it. Wow. Dinner is served. We've got tilapia sriracha pesto. Lennon has a tilapia rice ball situation. Thank you for taking Lennon out to the mall as I was preparing this. It's my pleasure. We had a good time, didn't we, buddy? You made friends with everyone. Mm. Yeah, he's not eating a single vegetable these days. Mmm. Oh, mm. Mm -hmm. mm. oh, wow, the ginger's very bright, isn't it? I just parked in Pasadena. I'm about to head on over to my speech class. I wish I could tell you I'm excited to go in, but it is a very challenging course. Uh, the first session went really well. It was really exciting because I was kind of, you know, going off the adrenaline of, oh, like novelty, this is really fun. I'm doing something good for myself. But then the second session was actually really tough because I was confronted with a part of myself that I really dislike, which is my, inability to go off the cuff basically what the i don't know i guess i can i can leave a clip of of what happened last time i crumpled guys he asked me to do a 45 second story on anything immediately i just went blank i could not think of a single story that had a beginning middle and end for 45 seconds and i think that's my issue i think whenever someone or i'm prompted with a question 
I think way too, way too deep into it. Like I'm literally thinking about all the mechanics that go into a story. What constitutes a good story? What is the, the conflict? What is the resolution? And I, you know, we went over the fundamentals of storytelling, but how was I supposed to just compress all of that into a 45 second talk? So it's so strange that your brain does that, but I think it was because I was just stressed out. I stressed myself out. That's where we are today. I am about to go into my third session. Like my main objective for speech class was to remove my fillers, like, like, you know, and then the second part was that I would be able to flow with my words a little better rather than just always doubting myself because I think the doubt is really what gets in my way. Good, how are you? I'm doing well. All right, current table topics, current events. What do you think about TikTok? Do you think it should be banned? Your thoughts. God, it worked. <laughs> it's actually pretty cute. Okay, I think this will fit his head. I can reuse some of these stickers that are on his last week's project and then glue them on here. You think it'll work? It. Yeah, it's cute, it. huh? Fanny's got a big head like mine, so. <laughs> All that brain, you know? Mm -hmm. All the, it's mostly the prefrontal cortex. That's it. <laughs> he loves his sensory class every week. It's honestly the best thing for him. It ticks yeah. all the boxes, he gets to be social. Mm -hmm. There's music, sounds, the visuals, the, yeah. the instruments. He's a very happy boy. I really do look like a bunny in this coat too. But it's, it's strange, I do wonder what the origin story of the Easter bunny is. Because Easter is about Jesus, but maybe it's for people who, are, who don't believe in Christianity or Catholicism. They, they want to market it for everyone. There's something about Miss Rachel that Lennon just absolutely loves. I mean, the show is relatively simple, but I put it on every time we brush his teeth now because that toothbrush song is not cutting it, especially in the mornings. I am getting ready to go on a hike with Ben. We're gonna go to Griffith Park, which will be really exciting. We haven't, I haven't been on this trail in the longest time, but it is Saturday morning and our nanny's coming in, which is such a treat. We're so grateful for her. Literally everyone is talking about this beauty by Joseon. It just came in the mail. I'm very excited to try this and see what the hoopla is about. Wow, okay, so far the consistency is very milky and watery, which is nice. Oh my gosh, I, I think it's blending in pretty good. Wow, that is a seamless application. Okay, I can see why people are raving about the sunscreen. Day date. Day date. A date. Mm -hmm. You know when something speaks to you? Oh, how big your neck is. Like a soup of coffee. Yeah. It's as big it as is. the lower half of your head. <laughs> yeah. You need it after a hike, babe. Like a quiche is my go-to breakfast food. Yeah. It's either a quiche or a breakfast burrito. Because I like to order things that I can't make at home. Or that Ben can't make at home. <laughs> Mmm! Yeah. Wait, this is really good. Thank you, my kind sir. Is this kind of like an egg Benedict vibe? Or? Yeah, kind of, but it's got the creme fraiche. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. Very into this. I am going to try out this Oribe Hair Alchemy Fortifying Treatment Serum. Okay, I've been trying to be better with adding some products to nourish it because it is now processed and a little bit weaker. I mean, that's like what, that was one of the big perks of just having natural hair is that I didn't need to put any products in it. Guys, look how much my bangs have grown. They're past my eyes. I'm in that awkward phase where once it gets here, it'll start framing my face a little bit better. But I think I'm just at a point where I just want to grow them out and have my hair long again. It's that's just like the course of life, isn't it? Once you go short, then you want to grow it long. And then once it's long, you just cut it back. long-awaited banana oat muffins are finally here. Thank you, babe. Yeah, thank you for waiting. Oh, the black bit is from the uh, old banana. The <laughs> no, that's chocolate. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. Yeah. These are amazing to cook in bulk because then you can freeze them. And then when your baby's ready or you are ready to eat it, you can just pop them in the toaster. So right now we have a little pocket of time before Lennon wakes up from his nap. So we're just gonna relax. Today I'm gonna go to my mom's house and so I'm just packing Lennon's travel bag. This is by Kara, who does the best baby bags. If you have a friend that's pregnant or know a friend who's a mom, this is honestly the best gift you can give her. The reason why these bags are so good is that instead of just having like a big giant gaping hole where things get lost, there are compartments. Here are just the wonderful organized compartments. So good. We've got my coterie diapers on this corner. We've got two. And in this little compartment, we've got some burp cloths. One can be for his face, and then one can be for his hands. Some extra clothes. I genuinely thought that I could skip this step, but one time he just threw up all over his shirt, and we didn't have a change of clothes. This is like a nice sensory book that keeps him occupied. I also packed my Kindle in here, in case I have some time to read. I always like to put it just in case, you never know. Ooh, now let me get the snacks. I like to keep everything inside this cute little lunchbox container. It is perfect for picnics. So in the first corner, we've got some like healthy Cheerios. They have clean ingredients. It's by this brand, Cascadian Farms. Sweet potato coins, Happy Baby Superfood Puffs. These are the kale and spinach flavor. They're like grapes, but they taste like plums. That's all his snacks that we're gonna pack for today. It's like, there's it something very satisfying on just how everything stacks in so neatly. For his cutlery, I put everything inside this like plastic storage container that I got from PR, but it is the perfect place to store his bib. We have his suction plate, and then we've got two little utensils. And then we've got his dino water bottle. Okay, and that is pretty much everything he needs to go to grandma's. And there we go, there we have it. Oh my god, it's so cute! I can't wait to travel with this too.
진짜? 